All right, ELC 131, worksheet 24. Okay. For 350 hertz, what's the time required to complete three waveforms? So, spreadsheet, 350 hertz is the frequency and time. And time will be in seconds. So, make yellow, make yellow. Don't type in the yellow square. So, um, this is equal to 1 over uh, G24. And this is going to be equal to 1 over F25. Whoops equals there we go so now if I put in 350 Hertz that is how long it takes to do one cycle now if I want a tenth of a cycle I would divide by 10 so I'm gonna put divide by 10 and then it's gonna be this uh, divided by 10 which is G25 because when you sample a waveform you want um, you want at least 10 samples per cycle now I can round this up to point oh to point oh oh three and then point oh oh three but I want to simulate a 350 hertz sine wave. So now I'm going to go to Scilab, uh, and I'm going to use that 0.003 and then 0.0003 for my step time. And I want three cycles. So I need to take that time for one cycle, multiply it by three to give three cycles. And then what's the time required for sampling at one tenth of a cycle? So I did that. And set up the following waveforms on the oscilloscope. We're going to do it on, uh, we're going to do the simulation part. So uh, sine wave, one kilohertz. So one kilohertz is 1,000, eight volts peak to peak. So now I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet and change my frequency to 1,000. And there we've got the um, values I need for simulating. Three cycles. And so I need three milliseconds worth. Should be able to snip and attach a picture. So now I'm going to go to LT Spice. And what I'm doing is a voltage source and a load. And I always add a load. And in real life, it's good to have a load, 10K. You want enough resistance that it's not open, but not so much resistance that it has to source a lot of current. So, you know, 1K, 10K, somewhere in that neighborhood is probably what you're looking for for setting up signals. And so I've got to go to advance because I want a sine wave. And I think the amplitude had to be 8 volts peak to peak. 8 volts peak to peak. So that means 4 volts peak, no DC offset. So my amplitude will be 4. My frequency will be 1,000 or 1 kilohertz. And I need at least 3 cycles. Because it says to show 3 cycles. So let's do 4. And that is how you do a sine wave. So you put in your peak voltage for amplitude. You put in your frequency and you put in your number of cycles that you want to see. Always pick more than you need. So I'm going to click OK. And so it's going to populate that there. Now if I run it, whoops, now i got to simulate it. Edit the simulation fan. 
Okay, now we're going to go to transient analysis, and this is the, what we did all that stop time for. So if I do uh, 0.004, that's going to be the stop time. My start time will be zero, and I need the extra zero in the max time per step. So three zeros and a three. No, three zeros and a one. Okay. So you got to know how long to go and you got to know when to start. So start to, to, to stop has to contain at least three waveforms. This is actually going to contain four. And then your sampling time has to be at a tenth of one of the waveforms. That's just good general rule. And now if I simulate it and I click on that, what you see is I've got a sine wave. It is 8 volts peak to peak because it goes from 4 to minus 4. And if you work out the frequency based on milliseconds, you should get around um, 1 kilohertz. So for this part of the assignment, you take a picture of it. And that's not exactly what the scope will show, but that's, that's, that's basically uh, what you do. You take a screenshot or SNP. Some older windows have SNP. And then you can attach that, showing me that you did it. Okay. So that's how you do a sine wave, at least three cycles. How do I do a square wave? Okay. I need one volt offset. And I need 23 kilohertz. I think I'll do two of these, and then I'll do the last two the other way. We'll see how that goes. So I'm going to go back to my same um, L, uh, LT spice, 3 volts peak. So now I want to do a square wave. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to edit this. Okay. When you do a uh, square wave or a triangle, you do pulse. Now, what pulse does is pulse is going up, going down. <coughs> so you have to fill in all the different things in there. Okay, so my initial voltage will be zero. And my uh, full-on voltage will be four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this minus three. And my on voltage will be 3. So that will give me 6 volts peak to peak or 3 volts peak. I don't need a time delay. Now, time rise. If we're doing square wave, we need it to be really, really small. So usually we do like a 1 nano. And a fall time is one, one nano. Okay. So now what we need is the time on and the period. To do that, we got to go based on the frequency. So I'm gonna come back over here, make sure I got the right frequency. It says 23 kilohertz. Oh, I've got to add the plus one DC offset. Okay, so 23 kilohertz. So I come over here and say 23 kilohertz, which is 23,000. Okay. So my time per step is um, 0.4 milli. And then one-tenth of that would be... Um, 4.3 micro. So 10 to the minus 6 is micro, and then this one, um, 543 is 0.04 milli. Sorry. 0.04 milli would be my time. So that is the time for the period. So I'm going to do this one step at a time, and I'm going to round point. Uh, if I make this smaller by moving the decimal, I'm at 0.04, and that would be e to the minus 3, which is milli. So let's make it uh, 43, 
43 is good. So, my period is 0.043 milli, and my time on will be half that if I want a square wave. So, half of that would be 0.0215. Milli. Okay, now I need an offset is plus one, so this is going to have to change to minus two, and this is going to have to change to four. That will give me an overall positive one volt offset. And my number of cycles, I don't think we have to do anything here, but I'm going to add four. And then I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to simulate. Um, there we go. All right, now see it did the same window as last time. So I got four milliseconds. So it's probably best to close the window. And oh, I've got to change my trans step also. That's what I got to do. Because we're going to 4 milliseconds, so it needs to be 0 0.043, and I want 4 cycles. Uh, and that would be milli. So we can start at 0. 0 0.043 times 3 is... Uh, 8129, so 0.129 milli. There we go. So I'm going to call it 0 0.130. Okay. My maximum time per step has to be less than that, so it was 0 0.043 or 4.3 micro, I think is what we came up with. When in doubt, go back and look. So my steps needs to be 4.3 micro to get a good sampling. So I can do 4.3U. That would be micro. Click OK. Now my transient's right. And now if I hit simulate and then I click on the output, you see I've got a square wave. So it's going to about 4 volts. It's going down to about minus 2. So I've got a net 1 volt offset. So the middle of my waveform should be around 1 volt, which would be around here where this cursor is. I've got at least 3 cycles. Did I ask for 3 or did I ask for 4? Show 2 cycles. You can always exceed, but never go short. So that is the sine wave and the square wave. And I'm going to stop here and then do the uh, next one or the next couple. Thanks for watching.